Hi there, Roy Oppenheim from, for Oppenheim Law. Uh, one of the big questions we always get is, what happens if a seller in a real estate transaction changes their mind and does not want to close and ultimately is committing a, a breach of contract? So this is the seller now. So if the seller has a contract with a buyer and the buyer's put a deposit down and the seller says, don't want to close. Now, you know, in some circumstances, what happens if the seller dies, right? Well, in some states, you actually have a provision that if the seller dies, uh, the, the deal's off. In Florida, we don't have that. So if the, if the seller dies or, uh, or if the buyer dies, it doesn't matter, the, the, the deal goes on. And a lot of times people will just agree to say goodbye to the deal, but the reality is um, if the seller uh, decides not to close for whatever reason, maybe they get sick or something, or maybe their spouse gets sick, or maybe their spouse dies, whatever it is, if the seller decides to change their mind, what can the buyer do? And the answer is the buyer can certainly try and get their deposit back, they can certainly try and get extra money back for the uh, cost associated with doing the inspections, doing the survey, moving out of another place, trying to find another place. And it could be, you know, pretty, pretty extensive. Or they can say, you signed this contract with me. We have a good contract. There's a specific performance provision in the contract. And that simply means that the buyer has the right to sue the seller and force the seller to keep his promise to sell the property. And if the seller says no, you go to court and a judge can order the seller to sell the property, that's called specific performance. And on top of that, based on the attorney fee provisions in the contract, the seller could be obligated not to just pay his own attorney, but also pay the buyer's attorney. And so it could be a very expensive proposition if the seller decides to, to uh, breach. But in the meantime, the seller gets to stay in the house for another year or two, the seller gets to rent it out for another year or two, and if prices drop, then the buyer may decide he really doesn't want the house. Typically, if, if the price keeps going up, the buyer almost has an option locked in where they now have the right to buy the property at that original price. And as the price keeps going up 10% a year, they get to buy it, not at the new market price, but at the price they agreed on a year or two ago. Those are your remedies if you uh, are a buyer and your seller has, has decided to change their mind. Roy Oppenheim from the Trenches.